friends. Welcome back to my empty nest. Come on into my kitchen. Tonight I'm making pasta trapanese. I've been making this for so long and I love it because I love almonds and it calls for sliced almonds. Well, you could do whole almonds and blanch them, but this is what I use. And on pasta with Parmesan cheese, oh my gosh, so good. Let me show you my ingredients. Okay, here are my ingredients. Um, one onion, but I'm gonna split this, or cut this in half because that's a large onion. One can of whole plum tomatoes, crushed, and you could do it by hand or in your little chopper, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> basil, fresh basil, or you could do dried. Sliced almonds, olive oil, I use about almost a third cup. Garlic cloves, you, I'm doing four medium large. You could do whatever you want. You could do more or less. Salt and pepper. Uh, my husband's pasta, that's his, and then that's mine because I can't have that. And then Parmesan cheese. It, this, the ingredients are just so simple, but it's so good. It is so good. So uh, I'm gonna get started. And I'm gonna crush these tomatoes, and um, I'm out. you also need to use the liquid in there as well. And I always wash off the top of my can with soap because those factories are dirty. <laughs> okay. You know how long I've had this thing forever, and I almost threw it about out, but I put a little WD-40 on it, and it works like new. and a lot less messy. Okay. Just gonna put these in here and shred them, uh, crush them. <laughs> and you can use crushed tomatoes, but I like the plum tomatoes because crushed tomatoes um, are crushed with the skins. And the skin to me is bitter. So these are, some of these do have a little skin on them. I don't know. They used to be really good about it, but now they're getting lazy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you could see, like, here's a skin right here. I don't really like the taste of the skin in a dish like this because it's, it's just bitter. So that's why I don't use the crushed tomatoes. But you can, you could definitely use the crushed tomatoes. And then I have all that juice that's going to go in. I'm sure there's more skin in there that I didn't see. So, okay, well, a little bit's not going to hurt me. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold the cover. <laughs> I use it for um, chicken stock, so I always save them in a freezer bag. Okay. Ooh, lots of roots. Okay, this one's a little bad, so usually I keep the root end on, but I'm taking it off right now. This one's going to go. And then I save this as well. <laughs> this has saved me. Sometimes I run out of onions and I will just take this, hold it, and use it. You know, you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> this day and age. Thank you. 
too. Believe it. This is a nice, quick dinner, easy, and just so delicious. So, okay. I think that's good. Get all the skin off. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that. And to save your onions, my husband figured this out. This snackware is so good. It's it's um, airtight, and this will stay good in the refrigerator uh, up to a week or more. Sometimes this is these snapwares are great, great little tool. Okay, this has been on the flame, so I'm just gonna <laughs> cool it off because it's getting really hot. I don't want anything to burn. Oh yeah, you can smell. Been on there for so long. Hang on. <laughs> Don't want anything burning. Okay. I'm gonna put my olive oil in there. Ooh, yeah, hot, very hot. Okay. Let me get my. Garlic. And I'm just going to throw it to you in a few minutes. And I'm going to also salt and pepper it. Piece of the skin in here. I believe I do. Nah, it'll fit. A little add flavor. <laughs> I'm just gonna chop up my garlic. Okay, I'm gonna add in uh, the garlic. Uh, can you even see? Uh, I'm not sure if you can see better or not, but um, yeah, that looks like a lot of oil, but it works. I promise, it works. Garlic here. Okay. Can't miss any garlic. <laughs> mm. I just love the smell of garlic and onions. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna get it. It's that little skin. But there it is. I just didn't want to. I know it's a little one, but I don't want the skin of it. <laughs> mm. Amazing. This is going to go for like 30 seconds. It smells so good. Gosh, it's just so, I, I don't know, cooking at home is just so rewarding and everything just smells so good. Okay, I'm um, just going to give this a minute. Okay, I'm going to add the sauce on the, the juice of the, the whole tomatoes. Maybe a little bit of water. Just to clean it out.
So yeah, it's not a whole big pot of sauce. And if you're using whole uh, almonds, you could put them in, but I like them crunchy. And uh, I'll, I'll never use the whole. I like the sliced almonds. Um, and I like them crunchy, so I'm never going to put them in there. Ever. <laughs> like that. I don't want no soggy almonds, but I've heard you could do it like that. I want to add more salt to this. And if you make this and you think that it needs sugar, you can add it, but it doesn't. I don't think so. Some, some sauces do, but not this one. over there. <laughs> you can add more if you want. I'm just going to start with this. Mm. Okay. Might, I might add. simmer this and bring it to um, a simmer and then simmer it for about 30 minutes just to let the flavors marry I'm going to add more basil okay just added a, maybe four more four or five more leaves might as well use it up if it's in the garden Okay, I'm going to turn it down so it's a low simmer. 30 minutes. Can't wait. My pasta water is just about ready. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, you should stir your sauce every once in a while. Um, I've stirred it twice in the last 20 minutes. Okay. Mine only takes four minutes. <laughs> delicious. Oops, this guy's giving me trouble. I like to try and stir it in the beginning so it doesn't stick. Once, once I get it going in the beginning and unstick it, then I could just let it boil away. That's giving me trouble over there. with the strainer legs. I, I really like how to put it on that side. These are so easy to strain your pasta with. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make my husband's plate up real quick. Small bowl. And this um, sauce is, it's a, it's, it's a thin sauce. And if you want it to thicken up, you let it simmer on the stove a little longer. But, oops. I've been making 
this for years, years, and I absolutely love it. It's so simple, but it's so, so delicious. So delicious. so he's not going to have a whole lot of um, almonds. Me, I love them. I put like a handful. Mm. I can eat this every night. So simple. So easy and so, so delicious. So delicious. You wouldn't even believe it. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please, if you like my content, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.